Right guys, you're the gaming. Boys, I'm going to look at Veil VR today, guys. It's a new VR shooter. Um, what this video is going to be about, it's just going to be a quick showcase of the gun mechanics in the armory or in the range. Uh, and then moving over to a bit of PvP competitive play, just a montage of uh, some of my kills and uh, myself just uh, knocking about inside the game, just trying to get a feel for it. Um, and it felt really good, boys. Uh, will I go back? Will I play it again? Absolutely. It's good. It's, I think also it's a good trainer. It's a good trainer for muscle memory and getting yourself uh, used to competitive VR shooting and just quick reactions, really. Um, how does it compare to Onward? Uh, really well, actually. I think the gun mechanics feel a bit better than Onward. It feels more snappy feels a bit more realistic. I like the gun sounds as well. Uh, you've got multiple grips on your weapon. Uh, the reloading function per weapon is different. So for instance, the AK reloads different than the AR systems, just small things like that. So, um, I mean, I really liked it. I've enjoyed it. It's, a, it's an early access title. Um, I think they're still working towards beta. Um, you can see on the Steam page I've got up at the moment here. So um, if you're into VR shooting, if you're into a game with good realistic gun mechanics, and you do like a bit of PvP, you dabble in the PvP side as well. This is a good game. This is a good game. Check it out. Get eyes on. I really enjoyed my time. And yes, I will go back uh, and play it again. So uh, short little video just to show the game off. I'll go back and do some more in-depth stuff in the future. Thank you, boys. Cheers it out. Yes, guys. Cheers it Gaming. It's your number one tactical gaming channel on the internet, boys and girls. And today we're checking out a new VR shooter called Val or Bale VR. Here's the difference. This game is PvP. I don't normally do PvP games, guys, because you can't really transfer military tactics so well into a PvP game um, because of the time to kill. Yeah, because of that time to kill, it kind of breaks immersion, makes it less about skill um, and more about spray and praying, you know, outsmarting your enemy by standing in a corner or whatever you do, right? Just so you get that rounds down first uh, before the other guy cracking his armor, smashing him, looking to you like games like Battlefield or COD or whatever. Um, this game is PvP, which normally means it's not my go-to, but they sent me an email and they said they're building a game that they are really taking gun mechanics um, and things like that really serious. The way it handles, the way it feels, the way you're tracking when you play the game, everything they take really, really serious. So I was obviously keen, keen to check that out. Um, so even things like this, you can just like small little movements here in my arm, like I'm getting that wrong. I have to be perfect, perfectly precise to get them in. Do one more. Let's fucking look at it. Okay, so that's a nice little flash. And this is like, okay, I've got one on my arm and one on my other arm, right and left, which is really cool because if you're in a gunfight, you can just grab, ch chuck it, grab, chuck it. Um, this is gonna be, if that was a flash, it's gonna be some kind of smoke device. Right, dome, smoke dome. So being PvP, you can see how that can be useful because you can deny the enemy some space. You're diffusing a bomb. Um, or holding down some ground, put that bad boy down, and then they can't cross, or if they do cross, you absolutely smash them. So, coming up, test the grip. Grip is perfect, that's good. It's not a teacup, like in gunman contracts, and uh, stock up against the chest, weapon up, nice and tight, nice and controlled. Feels good. Sounds really good. Nice and stable. Nice and stable. Weapon safe. Always start with a safe weapon. No. Get a fresh mag. Fresh mag in. Um, so let's test the grips. Okay, so you got a near grip, which is good. Almost like a you're using a secondary, pull it up against your chest, nice and close. Um, and then you've got the grip that's a bit further away. Right down, slide your iron right down that uh, hand guard. And this is the grip you'd use in combat when you patrol or in CQB. Yeah. However, when you want to work a space like this, come up to a space, you don't want to fully extend yourself because you don't want to put your hand past that corner, which would be absolutely stupid if you expect a threat to be to your left tango you can just kind of step take a step back pie it off pull that weapon nice and tight against yourself maybe have your laser your red dot on but even if you want to use your eotech you can just pie off that corner really effectively like to, like so and then as soon as you think that's clear yeah you want to now push you got a man up to your right wingman up let's move slide your hand forward up against that stock and then you move left clear roll right roll left roll left he rolls right i roll left space clear armed 
I like how you can roll it. It's too far, it's too close. That's feel really good. Even throwing feels really accurate. Like the amount of effort I used to throw and distance that it travels feels good. Right, let's make ready. Weapon up. Definitely more of a kick. You can just turn it to the side. 14 rounds in the chamber. It's pretty cool, that little... Uh... And let's go back to the hollow side. Go for the middle target and swap over to the uh, right side target. Ready. Up. That's awesome. Let's see if my little flanking technique works again. Flank them hard, right hard. Come on. Always flank, baby. Always blank. Round win.
time to kill is actually really, really good. We are on way to victory. Time, time.
Yes, baby. Right, that's it, gents. Uh, it was really, really good. Uh, it's quite addictive, actually, so I'll definitely go back and give it another whack. I enjoyed it. Gin it up.